The views and opinions expressed by the guests, callers, and hosts on this and all Rents Radio Network programs do not necessarily reflect or agree with those of the network, its commercial sponsors, its radio station affiliates, or Internet broadcast platforms. In these controversial times, we believe the First Amendment and freedom of the press are absolutely essential to the survival of our nation. Thank you. And now, enjoy the program. Monday... And there are many of you now who are watching the debate. Many of you will listen to this on the rerun in a couple of hours. We have this first hour tonight, our third hour normally, the Fukushima update, the radiation exposure and intensifying exposure to North America update, the extinction going on here. But we have another issue tonight. The the issue is quite simple. It's the ugly effort and ultimately the success by the Canadian government and its so-called legal system to thwart environmentalism and our right to know about what is being done to all of us. And it is horrific. And that came down in the decision to find Dana Durnford, quote, guilty, end quote, of speaking the truth. And at one point of speaking his emotional mind as if being passionate is not okay anymore. Uh, at any rate, uh, Dana will talk about that. Yoshi is here as well. Let me welcome uh, Yoshi back first. Uh, it's pretty crazy out there. Well, we're living in wild times, and uh, some changes are long overdue. We've had this world of deliberate violence, you know, well disguised. Uh, yeah. We're finally, you know, I think all around the United States, Europe, people on the ground are waking up to what's happened, that behind all of these attacks we see Western governments in cahoots with the petrol, you know, oil dollar states of the Middle East unleashing hell, you know, against civilian populations, co- committing all these massacres on both sides against all sides, uh, forcing refugees out, trying to destroy Western civilization in the name of globalization. Part of that effort, of course, is their climate change campaign, which we haven't heard a lot of because, you know, things aren't quite going their way, Uh, you know, as predicted. In fact, things are a lot worse since Fukushima, and we have probably an even greater cover-up of, you know, the effects of the Fukushima disaster of nuclear energy, uh, nuclear weapons, even a greater cover-up than we have of the collusion between the Mid Eastern states, you know, these dictate, you know, these autocratic states, and Washington. So we have massive global collusion uh, uh, in the name of the elites, you know, uh, the combined elites to try to deceive the people of what's going on. And Dana Durnford is a victim of that collusion, you know. Now, you know, in the court case that was rendered, he had to appear in court on Wednesday. We didn't talk to him last. Uh, for the last radio show because he was preparing. You remember, he has to drive a long way. It's been very expensive. His sure. car was sabotaged. He was nearly killed by both of the uh, hubs of his um, front wheel, uh, of his front wheel axles, of his front wheels, you know, yeah. were sabotaged. No, they uh, tried, so yeah. They, they tried to crash him so the car would flip. Uh, luckily, he uh, survived with God's grace. He survived against this monstrous plot, which is not the only one. They slashed his boat. I didn't mention that in my article. I wrote uh, uh, congratulations to him for being strong and uh, bold yeah. in his defense against this oppression, you know, repression, you know, yeah. his murder yeah. attempts. But his, boat, his, his rubber boat was slashed, and also once he was assaulted, you know, on a wheelchair and was threatened to be pushed off the edge of something, off the edge of a pier, you know. So these are murder attempts uh, and, and real overt physical violence being committed against uh, Dana Durnford, and he stands, he's the one who's found guilty in court. This is just incredible what's going well, on. Well, unfortunately, been, uh-huh. the, yeah, you're absolutely right, and unfortunately... None of us have a finger against anybody. None of his supporters have. They voice yeah. their angers, and who wouldn't voice your angers? Yeah, yeah. If the whole West Coast of your country is dying, including the people with it, the large mammals, the people the small insects, uh, everything along the coast, or nearly everything along the coast by now. That's right. Uh, That's right. uh, So why wouldn't you be angry? And, you know, when a jihadist goes out there, I hate to say this, anywhere in the Western world, it's a death to the infidel. 
No one bats an eyelash. They can say that in a cafe. No one bats an eyelash. Is that a death threat? They, they could carry those things out, right? Well, you we don't want that? to offend them, so we don't say anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, 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 and for Dana to say scientists who collaborate with us and cover with uh, and cover help the cover up of the disasters that's befallen that beautiful country of Canada, to say that they deserve that well of course they deserve more than that, you know. They deserve to be, you know, hung, guillotine I mean, you know, they deserve to be thrown into Abu Ghraib prison if there's still vacancy there. Oh yeah. I mean the scientists violates not just the law by lying. Not just the public, you know, the lives of the public. He not only, you know, he not only puts that in the danger by not issuing the warning, but his own ethical, you know, his own professional ethics by which he became a scientist. And for judges and prosecutors to do the same, to violate their, you know, uh, their credo, you know, what they pledge to uphold the law, to perpetrate a crime in the court against Mr. Durnford, who's completely innocent. That is unspeakable, and in my article I call Canada, official Canada, not the Canadian people, but the, you know, the Canadian bureaucratic system that promotes uranium mining as a major source of income for the bureaucrats and the filthy rich up there in Toronto and other places. I call them the Great Banana Republic of the North. This is run worse than any kind of Central American dictatorship, I swear. This is or anything in Southeast Asia. The kind of, the fact that he could not get a pro bono lawyer, okay, throughout all of Canada, all lawyers, he could not be assigned a pro and bono lawyer. And that's because the assigned. lawyers were so afraid that they would lose their careers, their jobs, their positions if they stood out of line. They can't, you got to stay in line. Court, you can't step out. A court appointed or a lawyer uh, can, uh, can, is supposed to defend a multiple murderer, right? Pedophiles, whatever, all right? Horrific crimes and his crimes against the community, you still, as court appointed, the idea that a court-appointed lawyer would quit his case, I mean, you know, in my article I said, you would get better legal defense representation in North Korea or in Zimbabwe than you will in Canada. That's how far things are rotted there. It's not a democracy. Canada can just blow off as a democracy. It is not a democracy. It is probably among the world's worst dictatorships, especially when it comes to the nuclear authority. Okay, the all-powerful nuclear authority and the loon. You know, the, you know what the loon is—the Canadian dollar. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I'll tell you something. That uranium hasn't really made the Canadian dollar the strongest currency in the world either. So people in Canada should wake up. They sell more value in fish products than they do in uranium, and all their fish are dead because of the uranium. It's the most stupid economic decision you can ever make on a national level. And Trudeau, Prime Minister Trudeau, has failed the big test. Terribly. He oh, just, absolutely. Obama. Yeah. Yeah. Obama, okay? Obama and whiteface, that's all he is, okay? I, I hate it. Another step and fetch it. You know, that's I true. I hate to put it that no, way. No, no, you got it. it. I don't think he even considers himself a, a black character actor. I think he considers himself better than anybody. He's an arrogant elitist yeah, of the arrogant. first magnitude. Yeah, well, he went to Puna, Puna Hole High School in uh, yeah, Hawaii, there you go. Honolulu. That, yeah. that, that place is a colonialist. You know, Hawaii was a colony, you know, right? It's a colonialist system out there, you know, garrison state. And that's where he was trained. But, you know, when Obama was first elected, I remember I was uh, taking a hike by the Great Wall of China, and there were a bunch of American professors up there. We had some lunch together. And they said, what do you think of Obama? I said, I'm afraid his formative years were in Indonesia under the Suharto regime. And what, yeah, what, yeah, you yeah, yeah, under, yeah, yeah. what you will see under coming under Obama is a regime that relies on Islamic terrorism. And people were stunned to hear that. They said, well, he's a liberal. I said, I'm sorry, that kind of formation when you know, two million people are massacred in one night and that massacre, one of the organizers was your stepfather, who you admired and never criticized at all, never said a word of criticism against. And your mother was gathering intelligence on those big villages that were set out to be victims of the massacre. This is Obama's upbringing, and this is what he will bring to America. And unfortunately, he's brought that to the whole world. He's brought this to the, you know, you see what's happening in Syria, Libya, him and Hillary. So, so this is unfortunately the nature of the system we have 
And unfortunately, Prime Minister Trudeau does not live up to one tenth of what his father was like. No, no, he's he's another uh, another pretty boy groomed. He knows who to answer to. He knows what to do. He knows how high to jump. He knows when to sit, when to sit and stay. Uh, he knows he's he's a phony. Another typical cardboard cutout political character. He's a fraud. We call it liberal. Yeah, they're they're fraudsters. You know? Yeah, now here's the word uh, might have had some meaning in the past, but not anymore. You know, when civil rights were important, maybe the word liberal had some meaning in people who would take guts and uh, took. Oh, I, I, you, you make a good mean point. That anymore. No, no. Right? that's that's long gone for decades. Very good point. Very good. All right, now Dana is uh, away. I think what he's doing after this this court thing is he's just resting and and reflecting and collecting his thoughts. Let me read. Uh, you have from the, to be exhausted. Oh, I, mean, I, I come on, couldn't. I mean, going through this ordeal, a real modern-day witch hunt, yeah. being dragged around, being beaten down financially and being threatened, and then being called guilty. And but one thing with uh, people listening should know, he got three years probation, which is the whole object of this exercise was to silence, you know, to, to, uh, to, to try to uh, reduce his credibility in the public, although his evidence is totally credible, to intimidate the Canadian public and the public of the That's Pacific right. North, Northwest. And basically, three years, that means he's basically out of criticism of the, even the Tokyo Radioactive Olympics. He'll only be less than a year away by the time he's out. So this is like uh, an absurd uh, sentence that they imposed on him uh, on behalf of two fakers, you know, Jay, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Jay Cullen, Cullen and, and uh, Buesler. Buesler, yeah. <laughs> and the one other point I, I need to make, uh, I wrote a complaint, as you see under my box there on your web page, yeah. against French television yeah. for running a uh, documentary uh, on Buesler on um, the impact of Fukushima uh, on the Canadian uh, Pacific waters. Uh-huh. Okay? Uh-huh. And I noticed at the very end, I just flashed out, that was produced by Canada Radio Television, which is the state news agency. You know, yep. they're massive television. Yep. Yep. Now, I checked their website, nowhere to be seen, but I see this thing was first run at Deutsche Welle, the German TV station, and, and you know, Germany is a non-nuclear, uh, it's trying to be a non-nuclear state, it's phasing out. There's a lot of opposition from uh, the energy industry to that. I see it there uh, from April 2015 that this uh, 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 documentary is there. People should look at it. It's told the, the maps there show no radioactivity on the on the shore of Canada, which is nonsense. 0 0.2 to two becquerels per squ uh, uh, cubic meter, way offshore, nonsense again, way underestimate. And then we see a scene of Buesler in front on a boat in front of Fukushima one. Okay, the damaged nuclear power plant. What, and he says, oh, the fish are not very effective. You're only the bottom fish. You know, only the bottom fish are effective. We check rockers. Now, what's wrong with that is anyone who knows anything about sailing, rowing on the sea, kayaking, knows there's a thing called a current, you know? You misjudge a current, you're going to be 20 miles away, you know? Not a couple miles away from your home port and there, no way to get back. There's a massive Oyashio uh, current there, the Lehman Current, which comes straight down. And he's sitting on that current on the north side of the Fukushima plant. Uh -huh. In other words, the radiation is south of him. You know, it's, it's 500 meters, a, a kilometer south of him. That's right. So he's taking radiation measurements and then deliberately the wrong place. These are fakers. These are just fakers. And, uh, and, and I hope people read my articles and they'll understand his relationship to the Office of Naval Research in the U.S. He's not a Canadian. And then Jay Cullen's background in the Hitachi Company town where they built fuel assemblies, Pearl, uh -huh. yeah. in, uh, in, in the Ontario area near uh, Toronto. The plant's been secretly moved in the last two years. Uh -huh. During this controversy, it's amazing. During this Dana Durnford controversy, when we first raised this stuff about Jay Cullen's background there, okay, and the certain Miss Cullen, Miss Unmarried Woman, Miss Cullen, older woman, executive secretary at Hitachi. Right. Wonder how she got right. her Wonders. job. Yeah. To wonder, Jay Cullen is getting scholarships from old Hitachi, huh? From his uh, his his dad at Hitachi. Okay. 
So anyway, this plant was during since that time we first raised this stuff. That plant's been secretly moved to a western suburb of Toronto. And the oh well, Toronto there suburb. you go. And the local people don't even know that. They don't even know that. They've never been informed. Okay, if there's a guilty party here, yeah, you know I mean? sneaking around. And the other thing is, you see no Canadian media reports about Dana Durnford, right? The Japan Times was the only paper in the world who dared mention his name in the, in the verdict. They're hanging their heads low in Canada because they know they've done wrong. The media knows it's participated in this big lie against a Canadian hero, a hometown hero who has stood up to this Fukushima disaster, practically with a handful of friends, a lot of times on his own out at sea. You know, they, you know, they don't have the moral courage to come out and say and show how guilty they are. You know, there's a collective shame across the Canadian media, Canadian industry, Canadian government, a collective shame for what they've done with this witch hunt. And I say, right. Dana has emerged as an undisputed hero, leader of the environmental movement, to hell with people like David Suzuki, who's collaborated with the Japanese nuclear industry by going there after Fukushima and whitewashing it. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's, uh, I don't know what the terms of his probation for three years are what he's allowed to say or not to say he uh, may be he may be so uh intimidated now that he doesn't want to go on the radio for this week we'll find out we'll find out maybe he's not available right now now here's let me read this little story here so people understand what happened now dana as you know all of you listening said at one point he was he was so angry i don't remember the exact quote that he wished ill harm for the perpetrators of the big lie of no radiation from Fukushima that is going to result and already is resulting in an extinction level event amongst the animal world and we're part of that world the food chain is broken those people are guilty of murder that's his extension and that's my extension I agree with that they, they certainly prohibited open and honest discussion about it through their heavy handed we're the boss, we understand, we're the professionals, we're the scholars, we're the academicians, we're the scientists, we know best. They shut down debate. Dana was the only one actually out there doing the work, the research. He went on 26, I don't know how many thousands of miles, by himself mostly on his rubber boat up and down the coast of British Columbia, taking video, taking uh, still shots, comparing notes, doing readings. He's the one who published all the data. Did they do it? How much data has Ken Busler posted lately? Cullen, do they have a website dedicated to Fukushima? No. So we don't know what the terms of the probation are, but let me read the, the, uh, the actual verdict here. This is from the Japan Times. Is this a good one to read, Yoshi? Uh-huh. <clears throat> All right, it's, it's truncated, but I'll read it. A Canadian environmental activist, Dana Durnford, who waged a sustained online campaign against two prominent marine scientists, you could put in there in parentheses, sell-out phonies, if you want, was found guilty of criminal harassment by a court in Victoria, B.C. on Thursday. The court heard that Dana Durnford threatened violence against Jay Cullen of the University of Victoria and Ken Busler of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in Massachusetts and accused them of underplaying the extent of damage to the Pacific ecosystems from the 2011 Fukushima disaster. There's no arguing that they did that. They did that exactly, and they're still doing it. It's a fact. Durnford was sentenced to three years probation. Uh, Cullen said, I, was, uh, ex I expected this and I was pleased with the judge's ruling. Mr. Durnford on many occasions threatened physical violence against scientists and others who have focused their attention and expertise to better understand how the Fukushima nuclear disaster has affected the marine environment and human health. Such behavior is criminal. Well, uh, I think hiding death and the potential thereof and radioactive exposure to tens if not hundreds of millions of people ultimately is also a criminal behavior. You underplay oh, that, word. it's oh, a genocide. criminal behavior. Oh, come on, it's mass yeah, genocide. Party, right? yeah, mass, party massive. Genocide. Joseph Goebbels, the propagandist, right. put to death. 
So yeah. I'm under under the highest Western law. Usler and Colin should share the fate of Goebbels because they're doing the same thing. Maybe even worse. I, 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 look, a lot. You mentioned underplaying. Uh, yeah. Uh, Busler also welcomed the ruling. Threatening violence is never an appropriate response to scientific findings you might disagree with. All right, Dernford, a former professional diver, has a large online presence. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we know who Dana is. We know what's going on. The chances of Dana going after anybody and hurting them are less than zero. I mean, the man's disabled. He's severely injured in a diving accident. You know the story. It's amazing he can get around and walk at all. So uh, anyway, I, I think this was really much ado about nothing, and they used it simply as a bitch slap to Dana to shut him up, shut him down, and make him be quiet, because the next three years are going to be just as bad or worse than the last five years, when we need his research uh, more than ever, and there's no one to take his place. Absolutely right now, Fukushima is just pouring radioactive water unchecked into the Pacific. Where's uh, Mr. Cullen and uh, Mr. Busler on this? Why aren't they telling us this? Huh? Of course not. They, they're, they're doctoring, like I said, with a video we saw of him on the wrong side of the Fukushima plant. This is all deliberate, you know, misinformation, misdirection. Uh, against Absolutely. Sure it is. Sure it is. Look, I, this yeah. is a high crime. This is not, this is not like the media... You know, uh, what did Kim Kardashian wear today? It's not at that level. We're talking about the entire North of America, the Arctic. See, and Northern yes, Europe. yeah, we've got to take a break, okay. Yoshi. And the role that uh, Cullen and Busler played and are playing and have played in the cover up and the underplaying of the Fukushima catastrophe, which continues to worsen, is inexcusable yes. and a high crime against humanity. That's the absolutely. way it is. Stand by, we'll be absolutely. right back. Well put, well put, absolutely. Okay, and welcome back. Talking to Yoshi about the situation uh, we've lost, at least had partially gagged, one of the most essential voices uh, in this whole environmental catastrophe and our right to know that we are being sacrificed. Dana Dernford has been gagged with this three-year probation. I don't know the terms of it. I have to talk to Dana yet about that. But uh, we have the Tokyo Olympics coming up, and as uh, Yoshi said, he'll only be able to start speaking out fully in an unfettered fashion one year before. Uh, this is wrong. Uh, who else do we have in North America who can survey and collect data like Dana? No one. No one. No one's going to do it. Not you, Vic. Not Woods Hole. Nobody. They're in on the take. They're part of the game. They're players. They're mouthpieces for the corrupt government. And I, this is a, I'm glad he didn't have to go to prison, but this is a terrible loss. And they've done this three-year probation intentionally to shut him up. I don't know the terms yet, but we'll find out. Yeah, well, you know, coincidentally, the, the actual court, it's in the Vancouver jurisdiction, but it's the actual courtroom. Is uh -huh. in in, um, in uh, Victoria, you know, which is on the uh, island there, uh, where University of Victoria is, and but not by coincidence, Jay Cullen uh, is, uh, teaches at U Victoria as a researcher there. Not by coincidence, their Marine Science Department and their telecommunicator uh, there, what do you call it, their computer department receives yeah. money uh, through various front groups and from uh, directly from the U.S. Office of Naval Research. And what's being done along the Canadian coast is a whole surveillance, uh, you know, undersea, seabed sensory, uh, buoys out there where Ken Buser is taking measurements also, uh, a whole system of surveillance, basically so that U.S. nuclear submarines, ballistic, uh, you know, armed with submarine launch, nuclear-tipped ballistic missiles can ply up from Puget Sound, right, and San Diego Puget Sound, fly up the Canadian coast while Canada may be neutral in the war and anti-nuclear. Pierre Trudeau, the Prime Minister's father, said Can uh, uh, Canada is a non-nuclear, in terms of nuclear weapons, a non-nuclear country. That it will be violated now with this whole surveillance network being set up to maintain secrecy off the coast of uh, Victoria, uh, off the island there, Vancouver Island, all the way up the coast so that you'll get uh, the subs can get into Alaskan waters 
then sneak over in, uh, toward the Russian coast there underwater and launch their, sub, uh, their submarine launch missiles. So this is in total violation of Canada's non, uh, non-nuclear weapons uh, principle, not to allow this nuclear activity to go on. So that's why they're so vociferous against Dana Dernford. They don't want him out there in the oceans with a little under, underwater camera there, you know, probing around. They don't want anyone out there. They want to depopulate that coast so the U.S. Navy can go ahead and nuke, you know, Russia all at once. This is, I mean, oh, yeah. this is just criminal. This is not defense of democracy. This is brutal. I'm not, I'm not particularly fond of Russia in any way of what they're doing, but, you know, you don't, you don't do these things against countries with non-nuclear principles by one of his greatest prime ministers, whatever one wants to think of him, uh, Pierre Trudeau. You don't do that. And I think Justin Trudeau should look at the portrait of his father and say, I am sorry, I apologize, I'm going to turn around and undo the damage that I've allowed to be done. If he's half a man and not just a little boy working in the service of uh, Barack Obama, he will have the courage to do that. He doesn't have one-tenth of the courage of Dan Dernford. You know, I, uh, he's not a true Canadian. I don't know what the hell he is. You know, so, but yeah. it, this is one way he can prove himself to his countrymen that he'll stand up for his people, for his country. And I think we see this is what the word populism means. Don't uh, see, I have Absolutely. a lot of you know, yeah. uh, uh, left wing, you know, uh, leftist friends who support Bernie Sanders. Yeah, and I said, yeah, Bernie Sanders makes it great. I support the populist movement. Love to see him in. But if he doesn't, you guys got to realize we need a populist in the White House. What we don't need is another globalist who's going to play more of these dirty tricks on us and send more and more of our people on all sides, playing all sides against the middle for their own globalist interests, that we've had enough of that. Enough people have died. Enough countries have been destroyed. Our economies are wrecked. You know, Dane for, they're Dana, Dana, uh, Dana Dernford, he couldn't raise a lot of money because people don't have it. Right? No, they do oh, not have it anymore. The, the economy is dying. No, and I, I watched it's part of this debate, Yoshi. And, and yeah. Yeah, Pete, the, right? the, the, the debate, I watched part of the debate. Just really yeah, people are drained. disgusting. You know, the populace is broke. You know, they're drained. Anyone with money is sort of like you, you, you know, stuck milk at the globalist, uh, you know, what do you call that thing, witch of Babylon, you know, the bitch yep. of Babylon. Yep. You will get the milk. You will get the money. But you play by the ball. Once you start drinking her milk, that evil witch's milk, you are hers forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hers. Yeah. Yeah. There is some truth in that biblical story. There about, certainly you know, is. Like that, you know, to a monster like that. And and then so we see, you know, in uh, at the big G20 meeting, you know, Obama especially, but they, they declare a declaration against populism. Why should a country like Brazil or, you know, or Malaysia declare war against populism? That's saying we are the great enemy of this global order, of our bankers, of our government, yeah. is the people of these countries, is That's the right. nation. That's of right. Course, that is our enemy. That must be crushed by all means necessary. And that's, I think, what this today, you know, as we speak now, what's being debated there, you know? Yep. The, the Babylonian versus, you know, our oh, own, did... uh, who was the guy? Who was the guy there? Daniel in the ovens, right? Yeah, Against yeah, the yeah, good point. Very you good know, point. Right, all right, I got Dan, uh, Yoshi. I got good. I got good news. I, we've got Dana on the line. We have got Dana on the line. Let's. Dana, are you there? Can you hear me? All right. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Yoshi. Thank you, folks. I just hey, there. got on the line that time. Yeah. Well, we've been talking about uh, how you're. You will not be replaceable for the next three years, and I don't know what the terms of the probation are. We were going to find out next time we talk, but. First of all, thanks for for catching that email and getting on the program with us because I want to know how hard they are trying to silence you. What are the general terms of the probation? Yeah, I'm going to have to get a lawyer before we can talk about this next week. Um, I'm afraid to say anything on that context. And just Don't do it. Myself. That's fine. Yeah, That's just fine. protect myself. You know, when I went down... Um, uh, by the way, thank you for supporting that video I put out there. But when I went down there the second night, someone robbed the boat on me, cleaned uh-huh. got the boat out. 
right? Took around, yeah, it took around four thousand dollars out of the boat, robbed us. Come on. Yeah, and so I lost everything. I lost life jackets, cameras. I lost uh, all. The Come on. Like oh man. Not only yeah. they try to kill you, they're a bunch of thieves. They are thieves. On top of being, you know, killers, they are thieves. Lowly yeah. thieves. That was Star Chamber. That was the BC Star yeah, Chamber. Yeah, Star Chamber. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, uh, you know, hey, uh, Paul Yoshi. Revere had an Easter time against the British, and you're having. You know, this is ridiculous. Yoshi, um, an interesting note, and I'll just end it on that part of it on this here, was that uh, 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 one of my witnesses were out in the hallway, and they were listening to all the other lawyers and um, people talking out there all day for two days, and they, he told me that all the lawyers were asking who the judge was. No one knew who that judge was. They brought him in just to do me, and that they were all saying that, this, that man in there is being set up. But one of the duty lawyers that I encountered during the first few trips down there, he came along later in the afternoon and uh, told a story. And then for all the rest of the evening and the next day, people in the hallway were talking about how this guy was being framed. You know, that was really interesting. Everybody, everybody in the building, in the courthouse, supported me. Everybody in the courthouse was friendly to me, was went out of their way to be helpful to me. Everybody except for yeah. that room, right? So the whole court knew, and they, and they were shocked. And so in one sense, like in one sense, you know, I, I was glad, that I was, I was grateful for that. You know, that was the human side that I was afraid wasn't going to exist and did well, exist. Well, you know, you know in, a, in a courtroom, in a no, courtroom, I'm back. I'm those, back. Are people, those are the people who study the law, who understand the law. You're innocent under the law. And that judge was a lynch, you know, Judge Lynch. That's what you face. Yeah. yeah, that was right. Yeah. No, I was set up. There's no doubt yep. about it. And Friday, Friday, yep. I'll start the appeal. But outside of that, uh, Fukushima, like you say, I don't know what you guys were talking because I came online as soon as I woke up. I had checked the email. I'll, I was going to do the show tonight at nine, <laughs> nine p.m. to seven p.m. And I was like, oh uh -huh. my goodness, I, I'll go. I'll just sign on and, and I'll let them know I'm there. Maybe I can get on for the last time. Well, it's good you don't hear my 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 rant. Uh, you know, uh, okay. Well, yeah. half of it's in your defense. You missed an uh, heroic you know, rant. It's against your, yeah. against this lynch, lynch crew, you know. And, uh, I'll, I'll listen to it after. Separate. Yeah, maybe <laughs> they'll throw me in jail. If I ever fly, I have to fly through Canada, maybe I'll be arrested at the airport for you know, defaming the laws. Yeah, the defaming the laws in the prime minister's office and other things and, the, you know, whatever, you know. Well, I think uranium and just painted into a corner at this stage, and that was desperation, so. Uh, we yeah. we we will continue on. I'm just so worn out. It's like you you. I don't have to explain to everybody out. I'm just worn out. I'm just. I'm getting them back together over the last couple of days, but I'm still. I'm a. Uh, it's know gonna how take you to weeks to get uh, back up I think to so. uh, stuff. No, I, you'll get there, but uh, I think so. I will. It's okay. No one's gonna begrudge you taking a little break. That's for sure. After your heroic efforts on the seas. And in the courts, I mean, and on the road, by the way, on the highways, going to the court where they try to kill you. I mean, yeah. this is this has yeah, been an ordeal, an ordeal that nobody yes. on this planet deserves. This is just a outrageous violation of rule of law. Simple as that. And it's happening in Canada, which says, oh, we're a nicer, kinder, nicer place than that awful, violent country down there south of our border, right? That's Canada, right? It doesn't yeah. everybody believe that? Don't ever, we're nice. We're it, it was, it, we're it was a vicious fight, buddy. I, I went toe to toe with everything. I, uh, and smartly, but Beautiful. it was a vicious. It was a vicious fight, man. <laughs> Tell you what. Beautiful. Well, like, right I hope now, that right, they got the. Write that down to the TV script. This has got to be eventually a TV show. Yeah, get a couple oh, actors. Yeah, man. Oh. Write it all down, word for oh. word. Get the right court transcript. The yeah, be right on the edge of the Get the court the transcript. Time. This is beautiful. Yeah. I would have done anything to be I in there except that they would have arrested me. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Uh, well, I've been working on the documentary since I got home. I haven't. Like, all I have yeah. barely lifted my head off of that screen. I, I'm, I'm yeah. happy. I'm happy at this stage that I'm so close to getting that completed and and there is nothing can stop me at this stage. I like to, I like to uh, deliver 30, 40, 50,000 copies of my DVD as a promotional to all the houses in Victoria. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I encourage all our listeners to send some money in. You know, I know it's after the fact of the court case, but this is one way we can make up the damage done to 
Dana and show solidarity is write them a check or send them, uh, you know, uh, PayPal, just go to uh, PayPal, uh, PayPal. yeah nuclearproctologist dot org, and uh, yeah. you can get in touch with him there and 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 make a gesture to help. This we have no one else. We have no one else, yeah. and as the yeah. situation yeah. gets yeah. worse yeah. every year, we've got no one else to track it. No, and, no and I don't mean just for his work. Also, you know, for the car that they sabotaged, for the boat that they just stole, that they tried to sink and then just stolen, for the equipment gone, for the damaged equipment he suffered, uh, for just this endless abuse against his own person, his property, his per- personal property, his his research equipment, and also from uh, his project, you know, the expenses for that. So I hope everyone digs in somewhere. I know everyone is hurt because of these <clears throat> policies of the government. The taxation, uh, but it's time to dig in. It's just if it's only twenty five bucks, that will do. You know, just anything. Please, everybody, pitch in. Yeah, no, I agree especially with you. I'm, Canadian, I'm especially, especially, especially if you're Canadian, because you got to speak back. If this happens to Dana, you know, imagine if you're trying to take your doc, your kids, to a cancer checkup, and they say we're sorry. Yeah, you, know, you have to make an appointment. The next appointment will be two years from now. That could happen someday. Unless you fight now, you know right. they, they, they will stop at nothing to suppress it, like they're doing in Japan. Since Fukushima, an extra two million people have died by mysterious causes, and no, it's not being reported at all. We don't want to see this extermination, the silent extermination, go on. If you want to prevent it from happening to your children and grandchildren, you know, dig a little deeper in your pocket, get some money, and Dana. Now, let's show some solidarity. We got to stick together now before it's too late. Thank you, Yoshi, and I can guarantee you, uh, I got to replace all the equipment. I and I got so much yep. to do in the next couple of months with the documentary and get it out there. And there's there is nothing going to stop me. There's nothing going to slow me. Dana, down. if you want to do this, I mean, I don't know if they're going to try to to intimidate you to where you don't want to put your material with your own free will on your own site. But if you need it to go out. I'll post it all. I'll put up a Dana Durnford box, and we'll just continually, you can stock it with whatever you want. It'll come here. It won't come from Canada. You can just shoot it down here. I'll put whatever kind of brand wow. on it you need. So, wow. I mean. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's your, that's your safety. Yeah, yeah, mirror site. Maybe, uh, exactly. awesome. You need a mirror site, maybe a couple of them, you know, in a couple of countries, so they can't take it down. You know, they're going to do everything they can. So... We, we see what these guys up there, they'll stop at nothing. They have no ethics, no respect for the law, uh, no, no, not, a shri- uh, not an iota of human decency. So we have to understand, know the nature of your enemy, okay? And this enemy is diabolical. It's a devil, okay? A devil. We, and, I mean, no, three of us are in devil. battle. We're at battle. We're, we're literally at battle. Life. And I haven't even mentioned on, you know, how there was a near murder attempt with me using radiation recently. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're uh, trying to take us out. You want to you wanna, you wanna, tell I wanna, us? I don't want to give away their game plan. Right. I don't want to give away any game plan. Well, I know, I know, what, it, the, I know what it is, and I'm not going to yeah, mention clear, it, so uh, yeah. it's up to clear you. Clear present danger, yeah? So we have to oh, always yeah. be careful with take precautions. Yeah. But we have to, again, that mirror side, Dana... Get get up that mirror side, maybe one in another country. Something. No, I'll put up a, a banner, a big banner, and yeah. you you can just lo- yep. load it up. Right. Just send me That's what right. you just give me the link and the title, right. and I'll put it up every day, whatever and whenever. So yeah, you got they it. Do have, they do have me censored, and, and I do really truly appreciate that. You know, absolutely. The only regret I got is that I didn't speak out more sharply. I didn't speak out with more force, and I I didn't take it to the next level like I should have. That's the only thing I'll ever regret is that I didn't try harder. I don't know if I no, could, no, no. but I, I regret no, you that can't. I You're, didn't try harder. Hey, hey, you have to maintain, it is Canada, you have to maintain a level of civility. It's not a New York City courtroom, okay, or an L.A. courtroom where you could practically have a brawl out there, you know, guys shoot judges. <laughs> in the courtroom. You, know, you know, it's not that, okay. It is a civil common law, you know, it's, it's a British-style courtroom, the decorum, so it's proper for you to respect the laws of your country, unlike your persecutors who, you know, who, who, you know betrayed the laws of their country. That's right. And uh, that I, I means something. I beat them on everything. I beat them on every, every yeah. step. I beat, I, I, we went toe-to-toe the whole three days. I'm just totally just worn out. But we beat them step-to-step. There was no denying that. And it was a total setup. 
and everybody. It's very interesting, it. uh, Dana, that the attorneys out in the hall, the corridors, were talking about this. Yeah. Were these the prosecuting attorneys, just to be right. sure? And yeah, they were saying, right. "Who the hell is this judge, and what's going on yeah. here?" That's really interesting. <laughs> and before they knew it was a setup, somebody was saying it was a setup, but they wouldn't be able to articulate it, right? It could because it, it, yeah. it didn't make sense to them because they're there all the time, right? They live there. That's where they make their money all day, every day. And so yeah. when when the story finally broke of what was going on in there, the fascination with me was really something. It was really something. There was this there was this uh, act of generosity, not only from. Uh, all the people that I, I encounter, but I mean, even all the sheriffs down there with the guns on their hips, these people were unbelievable good to me, and they weren't doing it to everybody else, they were doing it to me only, and a lot of yeah. people commented on that, who who was this guy, so to speak. It was obvious that uh, they had, over the last number of trips there, they had come to that conclusion, but parking the boat, I had the boat with me, right, parking that in front of their door, we got there 7 o'clock each morning, so 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock before it opened, that, uh -huh. that, we got that spot on purpose to do that and because we were hoping that we would have a fear of fight but it turned out we never had nothing even uh, resembling that it was pretty intimidating pretty scary I stood my ground but, but I, I was just me right just by myself so um, couldn't get a lawyer that was number 18 lawyers that I had you know there was no fear of fight and I'm not I didn't mean to dwell on it tonight but like I said I just woke up I burnt out crashed I was editing all day and then I said oh my goodness I'm going to go online see if I can catch that last tiny bit thank goodness because I need it too sometimes you know I need to come out and say hi to everybody like yourselves of course and it's so much stress and that we we're just started in this I don't know what they think hey Yoshi did you see the winds Jeff 230 miles per hour hitting Taiwan and China yeah, yeah of course, course. these are unprecedented before. yeah that's something. And it's just spilling like crazy now. I'm just going to keep spilling and spilling this year. This thing is not going away, this crisis. They got rocks in their head yeah. if they think it is. And Buse Leary is just lying. I mean, you know, it's just these are just outright lies. You know, it's so called Citizens Network. They don't do the measurements of citizens, they just collect bottles of water and send them in. And I wonder if he even bothers to use them. If that's not just all show, if he just dumps the water back in the ocean. And just uh, puts down this big fat goose egg there, zero point zero zero, right? Hopeless, hopeless that that your opponent is so so cheesy, such an unethical scientist. I even wonder if he really is a scientist, if he's not just a navy officer with a fake degree, you know? If he's That's for real, a good I just I, Yoshi, I start Yoshi, to wonder. Yoshi, did you see yeah. that article? Uh, anxiety soars the cesium builds up in Fukushima dams. No. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. I've didn't. been up to those dams. Yeah, yeah. I've been so up it's to all those building up. Massive. Every every waterway, every lake, they're all building yeah, they're up. They they don't have another yeah, source of water, and That's it's contaminated, dangerous. and they can't clean it. Yeah. So no. they're just gonna leave it. No, say, absolutely. Here's what their excuse was. They said it's not an immediate uh, threat. It's it underwater. Threat That's That's second. That. It takes the a little while. No water. No water. Mercury doesn't kill you right away. The yeah, water is constantly coming out of spillways. It's like gathering these giant mountains, right, all the stuff, it. and then it's going down the spillways, right down through the towns and villages into the ocean, you know, the Pacific they, Ocean. They admit that it's highly radiated, that the sides of the dams are all highly radiated, and that there's no yeah. way that they can fix it. And so, But they have no other source of drinking water, so they just said, you know, smurf it. They're going to go ahead and do it. Until yeah, further, these are dodgy oh. dams. Yeah. Wow. What they're doing see, inside just wow. dams is really a question. Yeah. See, yeah, that, I agree. see those those were great places to gather tritium, you know, before they figured right. out how to extract it. You know, in the that's why there's so many big dams up there. You know, and uh, uh, I was up there with a, a French filmmaker. Three different security uh, teams chased us around there and tried to arrest us, and, we, and only because he was French, white guy, French. Uh, were we able to slip away? I mean, you know, they, you know, we just sort of boldly, you know, went right past them, and uh, so yeah, yeah, these dams are. That's why you've never heard of this stuff before. Many of them are sensitive sites used for tritium extraction. Yeah, you because know? in the old days, that's how you do it: cosmic rays that come down, hit any radionucleotides in the water, uh, right. and then you can extract the tritium. So, so that was the. Uh, so these dams are deadly, and they're just you know millions of tons of water up there. It's, it's a very wet area. Is a, Fukushima is a massively wet area, and this is on the Abukuma Plateau. So, yeah, so yeah, uh, Japan is doing, yeah, you know, doing. And you're right about this uh, tsunami. 
They're saying last year was a record for direct hits. All of them, by the way, hitting Fukushima, oddly, and now this next one you're talking about. And then that's what is the driving force into the North Pacific current. But Ken Buesler is not talking about how the radiation gets from Fukushima, from the surrounding area, from the groundwater, from the surface water, into the North Pacific, I coming agree. across. Yeah. All right, we're out of time. Uh, yeah, listen, Dana, uh, go rest. Talk to you next week. Uh, give me a call if you want, and I'll set up a place on the homepage, a, a major banner, okay. and you can use it to put whatever yeah. you want up there. I think we will, yeah, for sure. That's All right, a, I mean, it'll get idea. looked at by tens yeah, of thousands of people a day. So I know, I know, Jeff. It's a huge, huge, huge thing you just All right, you got said, it. So highly you got appreciate it. it. Hugs for everybody. Well, okay. okay. Thanks, well Dana. done, Dana. Well done. We're proud of you. We're proud uh, of you. I, yeah? I know. You stood Thank up you. for the truth and justice. We're very and, proud of you. And, and it makes a difference, too. Trust All me. right. Thank, Take thank care. You, friend. Hugs, everybody. All right. Yoshi, uh, right. this is this a brave, a brave and, and dignified, uh, heroic man uh, who has been put through uh, the obvious uh, seamy side of... of uh, Canadian ethics and ethos, legal jurisprudence, bullshit, and all the rest of it. He's strong. He's tough. Uh, I'll give him a platform. He he can send it to me. I'll put my name on it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll just make sure the data One gets man out there. Was right. One man was right, and the Canadian, the state of Canada, the, the state, the government oh, absolutely. of Canada was right. Totally right. One man against that structure, and the one man was correct. He was right all yeah. the way. And he all right. All the data prove it. Okay, very good then. Okay, talk uh, to you soon. The remainder of the debate. Yeah, thanks, friend. You take care.